small, efficient, functional, and sometimes even fast. We're talking hot hatches. I'm Chris Wilder Academics, and today we're going to take a look at the 2014 Ford Fiesta ST. Now let's not mistake this Performance Blue 2014 Ford Fiesta ST for just any subcompact vehicle with red badging on it because I'm going to cut to the chase and let you know that our tester today is as legit as they come. Class leading power, agile handling, and respectable fuel economy can all be checked off your list as this car covers those and much more. The standard Fiesta is a fine car ready and willing to assume commuter duty day in and day out, but the ST is capable of that and so much more. And that's what we aim to show you in this review. For starters, under the hood is a 1.6 liter inline four-cylinder engine that is similar in size to what is found in the standard Fiesta. This one in the ST, however, was blessed with Ford's EcoBoost technology, where a direct-injected, turbocharged, and intercooled variant resides. The engine makes 197 horsepower and 202 pound-feet of torque, and has made it to a standard six-speed manual transmission that powers the front wheels. That's 77 horsepower more than the standard four-cylinder and 90 more pound-feet of torque. This combination is good for a 0 to 60 time of 6.4 seconds. Fuel economy is rated at 26 miles per gallon city, 35 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 29 miles per gallon. Now, not only can this car function well as a practical daily driver, but with features like the 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped in Bridgestone Potenza summer tires, as well as the sport tuned suspension, this car handles fantastic. Those specs are a nice teaser, but we still need to share a little about what makes the Fiesta ST a practical daily driver. Although the cargo area of this Fiesta ST might not be cavernous, there's still plenty of flexibility in the rear with the 60-40 split folding rear seats. Inside is pretty much standard fare, allowing pedestrian Fiesta owners to readily recognize the layout. The instrumentation is large on the dash, and my Ford Touch with navigation is present. However, there are some features that only this version has. The Fiesta ST is available solely as a six-speed manual transmission. So, if you're not used to rowing your own gears, uh, you might want to get some lessons before you purchase one. But for those of us who know how to dance with those three pedals, oh man, this car is one fantastic setup. Most notable are the impressive optional Recaro front seats. They hold you in place during spirited driving and yet are still comfortable enough for that long daily commute. Now, although the Fiesta ST is a subcompact, you can see there's still ample room for an average sized adult as well as a car seat. And although they aren't officially branded in back, the rear seats are comfortable enough and functional enough. So now let's take her out on the road and see how she drives. All right, now let's get to the important part of this vehicle and of this uh, review here and discuss how this car drives. Well, like many people, you know, you think, ah, it's a Fiesta, you know, it's a subcompact, it's an economy car, it's just going to be blah. Well, let me tell you, this Fiesta ST is anything but blah. I mean, it is amazing. The power that this car has, the handling that it has, it's lightweight, so it doesn't need a ton of horsepower. And speaking of power... This car has a 1.6 liter EcoBoost engine that makes 197 horsepower and 202 pound-feet of torque. Now, that's a lot for a subcompact car, and it shows in this Fiesta ST. I mean, zero to 60 is low six seconds, and uh, 
you know, I mean, it just, this car just really handles well. As I mentioned before, with the 17 inch alloy wheels and the uh, Bridgestone Potenza summer tires, as well as the Sport Tune suspension, this car can be a lot of fun. Even more fun than some other larger cars that we've driven recently. And being able to roll your own gears, that's something else that's just a lot of fun. In this world of fuel efficiency, where the continuously variable transmission reigns supreme, especially in, uh, in, in subcompact vehicles, it's, a, it, it's really a breath of fresh air to be able to get in a car like this Fiesta ST and uh, be able to just uh, control your own shifts, you know, go through all of the uh, all of the different shift points there. It's a six-speed manual transmission. Does it is, is, is it a high horsepower muscle car? No, it's not. But this car is known for its handling, and that's what's really special about it. Something else that you may have noticed is that although it does have a tuned exhaust pipe on the back, so you get a nice little burble and a little bit of rumble when you um, actually get on the accelerator. Well. What Ford has also done is they've added what I think is called a sound symposer or something like that, where they're actually piping in the uh, engine sounds and some exhaust sounds in through the stereo speakers of the car just to make the experience that much more lively and that much more enjoyable. Uh, the first time I had heard about stuff like this, I was like, come on, man, that's kind of, you know, I don't know. I wasn't, I, I wasn't too keen on it. And um, there are a lot of car companies that do stuff like this because cars are a lot quieter now you know you um you get in cars and they're so well insulated and so refined that you start losing out on some of those other special parts of the car such as the engine note and the exhaust tune and so what uh, companies have done now is they've started actually piping that note into the cabin itself so that you can still at least enjoy some of that sound when you want to So now the question is, how do we at Auto Academics feel about this car? I mean, if you couldn't tell from the smile that creeps up on my face as I start rolling through the gears, or you know, even just enjoying the, the exhaust note or the faux exhaust note coming through the stereo speakers, I personally really have enjoyed this car. You know, I mean, it really has been a fun car. It's so nice to be able to have something that is fairly practical, especially in this day of SUVs where they have typically been the practical vehicle. They've been the vehicle where, you know, you can kind of get the, the family in it. You can still look cool. You can put uh, things in the back and, uh, and go wherever you want. Now, you're not gonna be able to put as much of a family in this car. You're not gonna be able to put as many things in the back of it, but you're still gonna look cool. You're probably gonna have worlds more fun than in any SUV and you're gonna be saving money on fuel as well plus the entry price is pretty good around 23 gram base price for a Fiesta ST that's not too bad especially for the performance that you're getting so overall we like it overall everyone here at Auto Academics has really enjoyed it and um, you know this makes for a wonderful fun car that, um, that, you know, basically you still can keep that little bit of practicality as well. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna continue driving. I'm Chris Moore Academics, thanks for watching.